Hey guys, so I am actually going to test out some matte top coats for you. And the reason is actually because um, my last swatching video, I also got in my order a new top coat, which is this one. And when I swatched it over this color, I just loved it. I just felt that it was so velvety and wonderful that I thought, you know, I wonder how it compares to all of the other matte top coats that I have. So today I'm gonna to put it to the test and included in here is actually my newest creation, um, which I actually did with these nails, which is where I actually sand um, with a very, very soft block to get a matte finish. And if you know anything about matte top coats, you probably know that a good one obviously creates a matte finish and that a bad one creates a milky, white sort of finish on black. And so I'm going to be swatching and testing on black because, you know, with this color, as beautiful as it looks, it's hard for me to tell if there's actually a milky white finish on this. So here we go. I have, um, well, these are mine, but I think a lot of people have the Beatles brand just because it's all over Amazon and readily available if you don't have a license. Uh, I have Venelisa, which is new for me, and so far I absolutely love it. Um, the bottle's also really nice. I also have a professional grade accents, um, which used to be my absolute favorite. Um, but now I'm I'm starting to really lean, oops, lean towards the uh, Venelisa one. But Accents is a professional brand. I believe it's out of Canada. And then, of course, my last one, I'm just going to use the Venelisa top coat just because it really doesn't matter how good a quality the top coat is in this test because I'm going to be using this little sanding block, which you can see I've, I've used it a few times before this. So that's it. I'm going to start swatching and curing, and I will be right back. So, of course, you always want to read the instructions um, before use and make sure that you are following the directions there for all of them. I am making absolute sure that they are cured. So they're actually going for 120 seconds, even though these are saying 90 seconds. Um, I just wanted to make sure that, you know, in the event that my lamp is a little bit weaker than what the manufacturer ex expected, especially for accents, that I'm, I'm covering all of my bases. So really, I will tell you that um, the Venelisa brand both of these, the matte and just the regular top coat, were much thicker. And I actually thought it was really nice because they don't make bubbles. Whereas these two are a thinner formula. And, you know, you do have to sometimes stroke over and over a few times very slowly to work the bubbles out. And I don't think that's anything against the brands. I really just think that's just the physics of having a thinner formula. Some people like thin formulas, um, but just so that you, you're you understanding, um, it, it is a part of the Venelisa brand to be a bit a bit thicker and you can kind of see it's 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 um it takes a little while to drip. So um still very nice to work with. And I think in terms of someone doing maybe multiple fingers at once this would be much easier to work with. So it's not running um, as quickly as these others do. The other downside um, that I'll mention is that the accents one, um, it isn't a no wipe. So I will have to wipe it off and they are fresh out. Obviously this is shiny because it's a shiny top coat that I'm going to file. This is, so this is the inhibition layer here. I'm just going to Grab my wipe. I usually wear gloves for this because I don't like to get alcohol on my fingertips so much, but I'm just doing this one, this one swatch so I don't think it will dry my fingers out too much. Okay, there is accents fresh out of the lamp. Wow, wow, <laughs> that matte is beautiful. So I think we have a clear winner, but let me just go ahead and finish here. And this is a no wipe, so I'm just going to sand it. 
And this was a trick I was doing for a little while just out of frustration because I was actually using this Beatles brand and I was just hating the sheen and you can see it on there. So you can see I'm just lightly buffing the surface and not enough to go through that top coat. Just use a wipe quickly so we can accurately compare. Okay, so although this is a bit of a hack and I did use it on mine, um, it's not really working all that well on black. It's pretty awful. However, I don't know if you guys can tell on screen which is the clear winner, but it's obviously the Venelisa. The Beatles brand is barely what you would consider a matte. It definitely has a milky sheen to it, and it's really been a disappointment ever since I bought it. And this one I was powder coating with acrylic powder to try and get that velvet finish. But if you look at the Venelisa, it's already velvet. And it feels like velvet. You know like how you have a worry stone? How nice and it's like smooth and velvety all at the same time. That's the feel of this. It's absolutely wonderful. So this is probably the worst method. At least for black. It doesn't look that bad on mine. But it's pretty terrible here. <laughs> pretty awful there. So let's get a little closer here. The accents... So we have worst, second worst, and then between accents and the Venelisa, I just want to show you guys. Can you tell on camera just how incredibly matte this one is? It doesn't even have a slight sheen. And it is the blackest black. I mean, from this distance to the naked eye, this it looks darker than the other ones, even though they're all the exact same polish. So that's it. For me, at least, this is the clear winner. And it's a no wipe, whereas accents, you do have to wipe that nail. And I do find that it's one step, but it's a little annoying. So um, the Venelisa Matte Top Coat is the clear winner, guys. So I hope that was helpful and you guys enjoyed and at least now you can shop a little bit better and especially if you're on a budget because this is on AliExpress. They also have their own website. If you don't mind paying an extra $2 per item, you can get it shipped in a week versus waiting a few weeks, you know, the usual AliExpress time frame. So that's it. Hope this helped and you guys have a great day.